Hi, I'm Dallas. Today, I'd love to show you how to begin brush drawing. So this is a very introductory video to learning brush drawing. Brush drawing is an art technique where you use watercolor and a round brush to draw with your brush instead of learning to draw with a pencil. This is a very easy medium for children to learn, for adults to learn. Today in this video, we're going to run through the materials that you'll need, and then I'm gonna get you started with some basic strokes and some basic lines. Any suitable drawing paper will do for practice. Remember, this is practice and will not be shown in a gallery. Alternately, a sketchbook for practice will be easy and compact to store. Watercolor sets can be used, sprayed with water to activate the paint, and brush working more to dissolve the cake. Otherwise, single tubes of watercolor are preferable for the type of practice we're doing today. A round brush, size six or larger, has a good capacity for the medium to be used effectively. A ceramic or other white plate for paint is handy for mixing on. And water. When mixing straight onto a surface like this, squeeze out a pea-sized amount from your tube. Add water by the brushful until you reach a consistency similar to half and half. And I like to twist and really get it combined well and then give it a test on a piece of paper if that's giving you the transparency that you want that's just about perfect in my book I like to let the whiteness of the paper show through I think it gives it a real freshness so you don't want it to be so thick that you can't see paper through but you also don't want it to be so thin that it is dripping with water and dripping outside of the bead of the medium. So I would say that's about right. I'm demonstrating here why you want to begin with a round brush. It needs to be manipulated from light to firmer pressure because eventually you'll be skilled enough to achieve many organic shapes and variant lines with just this one tool. Some brushes have too much kickback and are made of stiffer bristles, yielding an unpleasant shape. However, with the right tool and with consistent practice, you'll make more desirable marks. Now I will show you how to press the brush onto the page. With each stroke, notice how I'm holding the brush. Similar to a pencil, but not resting any part of the palm or wrist on the surface. Using your pinky as a sort of kickstand is helpful. Downstroke. Upstroke. This habit of not resting the hand, wrist, or arm on the paper while difficult at first, actually gives you the most graceful lines and unbroken momentum because your shoulder is doing the bulk of the moving. Practice in all directions.
after your hard work of steady stroke practice, now make your own creative design. Consider both space and placement. Here, I made a radial arrangement of teardrops framed by some long lines. This is your space now to be fearless and free for the remainder of this practice session. Very soon with patience and diligence, you'll have the confidence and finesse to begin making more organic curves and to draw effectively from nature. <laughs>